Good. What I'm doing now is I'm marking all the bony prominences of his body that we have to address when we make the prosthetic socket. All right, of course, this, now you don't want to move at this point. This is the patella. This is the center of the patella tendon. This is the lateral tibial flare. This is the marking out the crest of the tibia and the angle of the tibia. Okay, that bone is right along there. If he's got a sharp, they did a very nice amputation, by the way. They did a clean job, and it's good length. Perfect length. Uh, then if there's any bony problems down here, I'll mark them off. This is the fibula head. Now I'll ride down here and look for the distal fibula. And if it's prominent, I'll mark that too. In his case, it's going to be fine. We'll also mark underneath the medial flare, right in here, the medial's inside. Because that's an area that can tolerate a lot of pressure. Yeah, you can take a lot of weight there. So I mark it. When we fill this cast with plaster, because we're going to take a negative wrap now, okay? That's going to be a hollow piece that's your image. But how do I turn it into a positive? Well, you fill it with plaster. All right, and when you fill it with plaster, the wet plaster will transfer the ink oh, from wow. one side to another. How about that? Because of this pencil. This and that gives me those references in the plaster model now, because once I'm in a hard piece of plaster, I can't feel it anymore. I feel it's soft and what's hard anymore. It's all hard. Just plaster wrap. We put a bag and make this set cast and kind of give it some shape, and then that's your socket. Done. Next step, now I need you to let go of that sock and just relax your knee like you're asleep. That's it. Good. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Good, 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 good. And the reason why I ask you to do that is because when you let the muscles loose, now I can feel around and feel through the muscles to get to the bones. Mm -hmm. Because what you're going to do basically is carry a lot of your weight at the knees. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm applying pressure just below the kneecap. That's, that's kind of like how it's going to feel in the leg. A little pressure in the back mm -hmm. and a little pressure on the front. But that kind of perches you at the knee so you don't sink in too deep. A lot of your weight's going to be taken here. The, basically, you're going to distribute the weight forces between probably 60-70% at the knee and the rest just by compressing all the way around. Now we got your impression. So that's the model, okay? I'm going to remove this now. Nice. Hold my dick. Take out the stocking. Now watch this. I'm going to remove this knot because that's going to give us a port we're in the alignment where we want, and that's going to help us to align the socket and the press these because the way we make it is in one piece. So that's going to tell us where I want to put the model for the alignment of the tube that's going to be underneath you. And that's you inside with all the details. All right, so now we're going to take a few measurements of the other side so we know how tall to build it and all that stuff. It's tall, so you're going to see, I'm looking at, see right here is Patel 10, Francesco. Mm -hmm. So what would you say for a link? I'll say 19 and a half, I guess. 30 here. Size choose the way? That's over here, send me. See, length of foot, mm -hmm. 30 cm. You got a shoe for me? He has a. You need a right? You need a right? Yeah. All right. All right. Um, okay, ankle circumference is 9 and 5 eighths. Ankle 9 and 5 eighths. Calf. Yes. 16 and a half. 16 and a half. And color, we gotta get a swipe. This is how we match the color of the skin. It's color by number. 